Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is part two of uh, expandable collapsible sections. So previously we have done achieved something like this, in which I've already teach you how I create this section and uh, how I just make the cells uh, make this head of view and how I just uh, populate this table view with with a static data and I use model MVC pattern to uh, get the data from the in, and fill the data into the cell. So let's continue the session. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous tutorial, please go through my previous tutorial to get about the MVC and uh, how I created all this thing. So let's create an app. So uh, after that, first we have uh, some declare some variable in which our data is stored. It act as a data source. So let's create one data data source. I mean, where data is equals to uh, it's an array of that. Uh, model which we have created so the our model name is data model so i'm just simply taking data model and it i'm just in, uh, initializing this thing we have a init method in the header name i'm just passing all the names which i want as a category for example it's like man it's like man and in sub category what are the different uh, elements man can have just like pants t-shirts jeans something like this and in expandable property initially i set is false it's a bool kind of a property and i just set it false i just i just have to define uh, more than one model so just second model is i'm just copying and pasting this thing over here and in this woman and for women we can have pants t-shirts jeans and i can add one more thing that crop top crop top i can add crop, crop top and one more model for kids and in this i just buy us kids uh not pants kids have uh, shorts shorts t-shirt jeans and even not crop top so i just created a model uh, data model for all the data which i want to populate in table view now we have to give all these things to our table view delegate methods so our first method is number of sections so i initially i passed 5 which uh, which you guys see that it is coming over here five sections one two three uh, four and five sections which are static now we can make it dynamic by using a simple method that is uh, data data dot count and after that we have to uh, as we know that we already assign a header view but this header view is not completed yet we have to create one protocol over here so as i click on the header it will uh, trigger the delegate on that view controller so for that we have to create one delegate method in this header file or we can say that header view so simply write protocol in this protocol i am just typing header delegate header delegate and in this delegate method we have to declare one function function that is called header so as a user click on this header header view uh, it will call this method or this delegate now after defining this header we have to uh, create two variables in this header view one the on which section the user clicked on so for that we have to uh, find the section so i'm just typing sec index uh, which means on which section the user clicked on and it is type of a int and the second one is we have to assign the delegate so simply type delegate and this delegate is of a header delegate type so we have to uh, give these two values from the view controller 
means on which we have assigned we have set up the table view so now uh, we have to just on click of header view we have to simply change this thing sorry change this thing to uh, if let idx is equals to index i'm just checking that index is passing or not or we can say that sec index sec index and in this we have to simply pass the delegate dot cell header cell header and in the, this index we have to simply pass idx so as as a user click on this as a user click on this section now it will trigger this method and this delegate is called means this delegate is called and wherever we have assigned this delegate that method is called now uh, for more information about the delegates please go through my uh, table view series so are this view control uh, our view, uh, ui view is completed header view is completed now move to the uh, view controller section and in this view controller section uh, we have to simply uh, first uh, in view header we have to write header view dot delegate equals to self and in header view dot in this we have to pass index or we can the sec index and the sec index is section section uh, and simply we have to return the header view and this is all done it is showing the error that cannot assign value of type view controller to type header delegate it is telling that that we can't assign self to this delegate because we didn't uh, confirm this protocol so let's confirm this protocol first so just write extension view controller and in this we have to simply uh, assign the header delegate header delegate so as i assign the header delegate this error is now gone and it is showing this that uh, we didn't confirm the protocol so let's confirm the protocol over here i just con confirm the protocol over here now we have to do something over here which will we see which will we see after a bit just first we have to focus about uh, what are the different things we have to we have to perform in a table view so for that height for the header in section is simply written for now number of rows in section so the number of rows in sections are now dynamic so we have to change the number of rows right now uh, number of rows uh, right now we have to change uh, just first we have to check if uh, yeah uh, if data means data model the user clicked on section section dot is expandable if the thing is expanded already if the thing is already expanded then we have to pass the number of rows uh, in the this thing number of rows the count of this subtype so simply return data section dot subtype dot count so we have to return the count of subtype and if the cells if the table is not expanded then we have to simply return zero now uh, in the cell for row at index path uh, uh, the text label to text is something like this data in this we have to pass uh, index part dot row and in this subtype and in this subtype again index part dot row so now uh, i've done all the things which i think uh, sufficient but the only thing which is left is uh, as i click on the any of the header it will not uh, perform anything because we didn't do anything over here so let's pass data uh, idx means suppose if i clicked on the section 1 means it will get the data of at one index and the property is expandable it will change the properties expandable to is data idx 
dot is expandable means change the property to true and if it is true then it change the property to false so let's run and look is it working fine or not the only thing I think which is left is let's run first and let's see what we have uh, yeah one more thing which we have left that we didn't reload the uh, table view over here so I think it's not going to work anything yeah it's not going to work anything because we didn't reload the table view so first reload the table view dot so for reloading the table view yeah it's not showing any data over here. it should show the data uh, it should show the data I don't know why it's not showing the data yeah I think I I, I got the thing that why yeah it's not showing the any header yeah so for header we have to type header view dot uh, button dot set title and in title we have to get the uh, head and name so for getting the head and name we have to type data in this section and dot header name and for control dot normal now let's run and look uh, is is we achieve this thing or not so we've simply get the things but we are not able to make it clickable and and these lines are also not looking good so first remove these lines so for removing these lines you have to simply simply write table view dot uh, footer view footer table view uh, foot, table footer view is equals to UI view and simply assign the empty UI view so by doing this uh, the footer view, uh, the table, the lines are gone. The lines are gone. Now we have to make these things clickable. So now let's reload the table view over here. Uh, reload. table view dot reload section so there is um, another method that is reload section uh, reload section and in this section we have to pass the section that is idx and the animation is dot automatic so it will simply animate that section Uh, it is saying that it is a it will take the argument type to index set and we didn't uh, set the index set so let's let's change this thing in index set it will take the array of index yeah so I think it's look good now let's run and look is it working or not now So is it working? So our application get crashed. I don't know why it gets crashed. Let's debug. So it get crashed over here. So yeah, obviously it's going to crash because we already passed index part dot row over here. We have to pass over here section. So now let's run again. So now let's check yeah now it's performing as our requirement but it's not looking good as I already show you in my demo so let's create something like my demo uh, let's make it good uh, first of all that if you want to make this height of the size should be fixed so you can change you can implement one more method that uh, uh, height for cell height for row at index path and in this we simply check if data index part dot section dot is expandable then we have to return 40 else we have to return 0 now it will 
fixed our height of our cell now uh, let's uh, go to our header view in which we have designed uh, our this this header so that we can change over here so it's a header view so first let, let's give it corner so button dot corner layer layer dot corner radius equals to 10 button dot clip to bound is equals to true now uh, by doing this uh, we have uh, corner or radius 10 pixel so it's still not looking good because there is no spacing and uh, from top as well and from left and right and between the cells as well so for that let's do one more change in this we have to start our uh, head away from bottom 10 and top 10 and we have to reduce the width to 20 because from the left 10 and from right 10 so it will reduce the width of our header view to 20 so let's see the changes so now it's looking little bit fine the only thing which is left is the spacing between the header so <coughs> so for that we have passed head of uh, height for header in section so we have passed 40 over here and it is same as height as of button so if we reduce the height of a button or we, we increase the height of the header it will automatically uh, change that thing so let's change the height of the header to 50 and it will automatically give 10 pixel space between two buttons so now it's looking fine similarly you can uh, perform any kind of functionality uh, which i have created over here and uh, you can remove the separator as well all the things which you can perform in normal table view uh, so this is for today uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned uh, how to create collapsible table view cells uh, if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, and in the next tutorial i'm going to teach you how we can create or how we can load a gif in our application and i will make a, a custom loader by using that gif functionality please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you